options. Now, ending it off with the battery life, the Pixel 4 had a 2800 million power battery, the Pixel 5 has a 4080 million power battery, so a 4080 million power battery on that device. And this is one of the biggest assets, in my opinion, of the Pixel 5. Not only do you have wireless charging on both devices, which is cool, but you have reverse charging on the Pixel 5, which I think is really, really cool. So, not only do you have that specific battery feature, but you also have a much bigger battery on the Pixel 5 than on the Pixel 4. And what's even bigger than that is that they didn't really, you know, increase the performance by a crazy amount. They didn't, you know, make a 120 hertz refresh rate and a 1440p display. They pretty much kept it the same phone for the most part. They just made a better phone on top of that in a lot of different areas and they increased the battery size. And I think that's one of the biggest things you can do to increase the battery life and that is to increase the battery size. When you have a device that, you know, only has, you know, if the Pixel 5 had a 2800 million power battery as well, I would probably say even then maybe the Pixel 5 would have a little bit better battery life but it has a much bigger battery size, which is really awesome. You can do all the software improvements you want. You can do everything you can possible to increase the battery life. But if that battery size is super small, you're pretty much already, you know, you're always going to have pretty bad battery life on a device. But the Pixel 5 definitely has a better battery life than the Pixel 4, in my opinion, and probably in everyone else's opinion as well. Then that was one of the biggest downsides of the Pixel 4 was the battery life. And the Pixel 5 pretty much fixes it, which is really awesome. So to